With Thermoflex tube of wall thickness 20 millimeters, we are going to make a segmented elbow of 90 degrees. When making an elbow, it is important that we define the correct radius. We use a carpenter's square. I place the carpenter's square against the welded seam, put the ruler against the pipe. Then I have a measurement of 35 millimeters. We also need to know what the pipe diameter is, so I use the outside caliper. I measure the pipe diameter and the pipe diameter is 48 millimeters. 48 millimeters divided by two is 24 millimeters, plus the radius of 35 millimeters. We come to a total size of 59 millimeters. Then we use the cutting mat. Draw the radius of the bend, which is 59 millimeters. Reduce half of the pipe diameter, which is 24 millimeters. From these points, we draw a horizontal line and that becomes the line that the middle of the tube should touch. We are going to make a bend of two plus two. What does two plus two means? The first two represents two half segments and the other two represents two whole segments. We put the tube on the 59 millimeters line that we have measured and we follow the 15 degree line to cut the tube. Then turn the tube 180 degrees and make sure it's on the 15 degree line again. On the other side, I cut off 15 degrees. This is a 2 plus 290 degree bend. If we use the heat plate, then we need to make sure that the parts are at least 5 millimeters longer. Because when applying the material to the heat plate, a few millimeters melt away. After we assembled the elbow, we should check if it fits correctly. Cut the elbow open. Be careful not to damage the inside of the tube. And now we're going to see if it fits correctly around the pipe and it fits perfectly. If you have any question about Thermoflex products, please visit thermoflex.com.